With the need to promote peaceful coexistence and improve children's welfare, Safe for Children Society organized an event in Lagos to celebrate Universal Children's Day. Our correspondent, Mercy Emmanuel, reports. Globally, 20th November has been adopted by United Nations to mark the Universal Children's Day with the aim to improve child's welfare and celebrate children's rights. In this regard, Save for Children's Society organized an event in Lagos with a team playing according to Save. Let's show a little more concern for the people around us. Let's get to know who they are and let's begin to value the situation in which we find ourselves. The conversation was centered on various abuses children encounter and lack of parent-child communication. I love what I see these days where you see some children, especially girls, that are so close to their moms and they're like, they can tell them anything. And that's something also we should believe, we should begin to understand. Uh, now they talked about sex, uh, private parts. There are some parents who are so conservative that a child under a certain age, as defined by them, should not even be going around those kind of topics. I invented a board game, the sex education board game. It teaches children how to protect themselves against sexual abuse, abusers. Um, it, it informs them and empowers them so they know what to do when somebody tries to take advantage of them. Some of the pressing issues across the continent range from terrorism, cultism, air pollution and poor education system, most especially in Nigeria, and the impact on the children were raised. Adults, it's time for you to realize that you have serious repercussions on these children. It's also a big shame. The so-called giants of Africa has its own educational system in shambles. For all the children hawking in the traffic, adults, you're to blame. For every child that has been denied basic health care, adults, you're to blame. For all the crimes committed against children, adults, you're to blame. Preserve our lives. They've got the children. Children were encouraged to indulge in outdoor activities and always ensure safety. We must understand that all children are not equal. Children deserve time to play. They deserve to have friends from which they can communicate. And we need to know who they are communicating with. If all their time is on social media, they have friends from possibly even across the world. And they are being influenced by things that we have no control over. What I've learned today is that you don't have to be very violent when you're playing. You can play in a safe environment. And I've also learned that before we learn, we should um, play a little bit. Because um, science has proven that before we need to learn, that we have to play to loosen up our minds and be free. I provide a safe environment for myself by taking precautions, like not talking to strangers. I just play with my friends. And when a stranger tries to approach me, I just ignore and report to my parents. As the UN sets out a number of children's rights, such as the right to be protected from violence, discrimination, right to life, health and education, it is a necessity to make the world a safe place for the children because they are the future of our nation. Messi Emmanuel for Plus TV Africa.